Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how to calculate the percentage of empty space in a solid atom. This is the formula given to calculate the volume of spheres. Volume of sphere is equal to 4 upon 3 pi r cube. I have given this formula because we require this formula in solving this problem. I will show you how you can calculate the percentage of empty space in a uh, solid atom by solving this problem. Uh, the problem says that the density of solid copper is 8.83 gram per centimeter cube. It means that density of copper element is given. 800.0 degree C. This is the temperature given. And the question says assume that the copper atom is a sphere of radius 1.02 multiplied by 10 to power minus 8 centimeter. Here you can see that the shape of copper atom is spherical which radius is 1.02 multiplied by 10 to power minus 8 centimeter. Now the question says calculate the percentage of empty space of solid copper. And so the atomic mass of a solid copper is given that is 63.55 gram per mole. Before we calculate the percentage of empty space of solid copper, we need to know the empty space present in solid copper. If we look at the second sentence, it says that the copper atom is a sphere of radius. You can see that the size of copper atom is spherical, which radius is given here. We can apply this formula and calculate the volume of copper atoms. Let's apply the formula. Here we have volume is equal to, it is 4 upon 3 multiplied by 5 value is 3.142. And so R value that is the radius. Here we have R value 1.02 multiplied by 10 to power minus 8 and it is in centimeters. And so here we have cube. We can simplify it and so we can find out the volume of copper atoms. Here we have the calculator so we can plug in the values 1.02 and so it is multiplied by minus 8 minus 8 and it is cube. Here we have cube. The value we get we can write it in scientific notation and we multiply this value by 3.142 that is pi value 3.142 and so now we can multiply this value by 4 here we have this is the value we get and it is divided by 3 3 is, uh, 3 is at the bottoms this is the value we get that is 4.45 we can round off this figure the value which we get that is 4.45 multiplied by 10 to power minus 24 here we have 4.45 and multiplied by 10 to power minus 24 and it is in centimeter cube. This is the volume of a copper atom per copper atom. Now, if we look at the first sentence of, this, uh, of the problem, it says that the density of solid copper is 8.83 gram per centimeter cube. Means in one centimeter cube vol volume of the substance, 8.83 gram copper atoms are present then so from this data we can cal calculate the number of atoms present in one centimeter cube cube volume of the substance first we convert the mass of mass of copper into moles and moles into atoms let's do the conversion here i mention here the volume sorry it is number of atoms number of atoms we are going to calculate the number of copper atoms number of copper atoms is equal to here we have mass 8.83 gram and so the atomic mass of copper is given that is 63.55 uh, gram per mole. See here we have one mole and so at the bottom we get 63.55 and it is in gram. We arrange the setup in such way so that we can cancel the same unit and multiply it by now we can convert mole into atoms. One mole is equal to 6.0 multiplied by 20. Uh, multiplied by 10 to power 23 and it is atoms. So this is the Avogadro numbers and it is per mole. Same units are cancel out. Gram gram will cancel out. Now we can multiply these values. Here we have calculators. Uh, we can multiply the values 8.83 and it is multiplied by uh, 6.0. I just multiply the uh, numbers only. We get 52.98. Here we have 52. Uh, 9, 8, and at the bottom the value which we have 63.55 and it is multiplied by 10 to power 23 and it is in atoms. Now we can divide these values 52.98 is divided by 63.55 and the value which we get that is 0 0.834 we can round off these figures here we have 0 0.834 and multiplied by 10 to power 23 and it is 
the number of copper atoms now we calculate the volume of all these copper atoms you can see that the volume of one copper atom is 4.45 multiplied by 10 to power minus 24 centimeter cube now we calculate the volume of all these copper atoms present in 8.83 uh, mass of coppers now simply we can multiply the volume let me mention here the volume volume of all copper atoms I multiply it 0.834 multiplied by 10 to power 23 and it is atoms and here multiplied by 4.45 multiplied by here we have 10 to power minus 24 and it is centimeters per atoms 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 will cancel out and now we can multiply these values here we get the volume of copper atoms uh, sorry here we have 0.8 3 and it is multiplied by 4.45 or oh, one moment the value we have 0 0.834 and it is multiplied by 4.45 this is the value we get here we have 3.711 and multiplied by in multiplication exponents are added it is positive uh, 23 it is negative 23 here we get 23 minus 24 is equal to minus 1 here we get 10 to power minus 1 and this value can also be written as 0 0.3711 and it is in centimeters cube now we got the volume of all the copper atoms and next step is to calculate the empty space empty space present uh, present uh, empty space of copper atoms present in the substance here you can see that the total volume of the substance is 20, 1 centimeter cube then we can subtract the volume of all copper atoms from the volume of the substance to calculate the empty space let me write here the empty space the empty space is equal to 1 centimeter cube minus 0 0.3711 and it is in centimeter cube we can do the subtraction here we get 1 minus 0 0.3711 and the value which we get that is 0 0.629 here we have 0 0.629 and it is in centimeter cube this is the empty space available in uh, copper atoms now next we find out the percentage of empty space simply we apply the formula percentage of empty space is equal to empty space of empty space available divided by to total volume of the substance and multiplied by 100 let me write here the percentage of empty space empty space and say here the the value which we have that uh, 0 0.629 uh, it is in centimeter cube this is the empty space and uh, the total volume of the substance here we have one centimeter cube and multiplied by hundred centimeter cube centimeter cube will be cancelled out and now you can multiply these values the value which we get that is 62.9 percent here you can see that how i calculated the empty space of solid copper the percentage of empty space of solid copper first first i calculated the volume of one single copper atoms then I calculated the total volume of all the atoms present in 8.83 gram of the substance and then I found out the empty space then apply I applied the formula for the percentage of empty space of solid copper thank you if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below for more updates on IIT JE or need exams Please subscribe to our channel to get a lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.